Actually, a sad sequence of events unfolded on that day long ago. Someone of the dominant class, someone in power, abuses that power by issuing an unjust command. Lie with me. Now the command is rejected, and what follows after the rejection are lies, accusations, and more injustice. Remember, Joseph the dreamer, the one whom God was with, had already been stripped of his coat of many colors and thrown into a pit to be sold as a slave. Now, Joseph, the one of whom Potiphar's wife dreams herself, flees from her grasping hands, only once more to be stripped of his garments. And she is left empty-handed except for a scrap of clothing. She's rejected, but she remains powerful. As Joseph runs away, she shouts to all who would hear her, My husband has brought among us a Hebrew to insult us. She deflects the blame first to her husband Potiphar, and then the woman turns xenophobic and racist. This Hebrew insults us. The Bible scholar Miguel de la Torre has suggested that it's as if she had shouted in the house, this black, this Latino, this Asian, this Indian insults us knowing full well that probably even more offensive racial slurs would have been used in the situation. It's sad how the pattern of injustice and racism is so deeply ingrained in our human culture that the story remains relevant today. Power scorned still retains power. So, of course, the outsider is the one at fault. This Hebrew insults us with his rejection. Emmett Till is uppity to the white shop owner and must be lynched. John Lewis joins the Freedom Riders and must be beaten and arrested. Jordan Miles carries a Mountain Dew bottle in the wrong way and gets beaten in Pittsburgh. Trayvon Martin wears a hoodie in the wrong Florida neighborhood and gets gunned down by a vigilante. The unjust stand and deliver laws, as we've learned, have let Zimmerman go free, while a 17-year-old boy was stalked and confronted, defending himself, and loses his life. It's a question of power. It's a question of injustice. It's a question of racism. And it's just plain wrong. <laughs> 